Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to wind your strings around the bridge to make your strings super nice and neat. Watch this. All right, we are gonna start from our top string. So our fourth string, our G string. That is gonna be our first string to go on our ukulele. I have the Diodarios here in the back of it. You can show which one is four, three, two, and one, or it also gives you the string note here in the back. So my G string, my first string is the black one. It is my fourth string. So here is the black one in the pack, and that one I'm going to string first. These are just Diodario tenor strings with the reentrant high G tuning. So I'm gonna take off that little plastic thing. And I'm going to go in to the bridge from the sound hole side. Now, once you are through about a, maybe an inch and a half or so, or whatever you need to wrap, you're gonna wrap down. So you're gonna go down towards the one string away from you, okay? Then come through, we're gonna wrap it three times. There's one, there's two, And there is three. Now you'll see this tail here should get longer as we tighten and it does. But watch what I do when I let it go. It naturally goes down towards the way we wrapped it and wound it. And that's good and that's what we want. I'm going to just set this guy up here right through the uh, tuning pegs just to get it out of the way. Don't need to tighten it yet. We're just getting it out of the way and get ready for the C string. Use the back of the box once again. Third string C string is green. Here's the green one. Take off the tab. Remember from the sound hole side and then wrapping your first wrap down towards the first string. So from the sound hole side, wrapping down towards the sound hole. Again, three, one, It's a little thicker, so it's going to be a little bit harder, especially if you got long playing nails like I do. One. Two. And three. Now, remember that tail that we made with the G string? We're going to want to grab that and stick it in. See how I just went slid right in? Then pull this tight. Pull these pliers, go ahead and grab pliers. Make sure you don't nick your ukulele, but go ahead and grab pliers and make it tight. And then once again, it'll naturally bend down towards your first string. You see how it's tucked in? Then tucked right inside that C string, just where we want it. Okay, and then we're gonna put this one up here. Remember, when you're going and putting your string into the tuning peg, you're gonna go from inside of the headstock out. Pull it to get it out of the way. Okay, we have our two top strings done, our fourth and third, and they're looking really nice and clean here on the bridge side. Second string, purple. Here we go, purple. Taking the tag off. Sliding in from the sound hole side. Giving it three wraps. One, two, three. I'll use my pliers again to hold it. So don't forget, grab your C string, tuck it in its new home here. See, it's nice and tidy. Use my pliers once again. Get my little tail. Don't worry about the tail. See how it naturally just slid right in. Pull this guy tight. Going from inside to out. Get it out of the way for now. Don't worry. Get it out of the way for now. Now with our last and final string. First, silver. Your A string is silver. Take off the tab. Bring it out. All right, so for this last string, we are going to uh, wind it a little bit different. We're gonna wind it from the top towards the fourth string because we want 
the tail to go up and tuck into our E string hole. So we are going to wrap it opposite way. Put your E string in. Now that's why we didn't tighten our E string just yet. Our E string is in our A string and now our A string is going to go into our E string here. Okay. If you guys can do it without pliers, I recommend it. I can't. And now you guys can see our A string is nestled up nicely into our E string and our E string is nestled up nicely into our A string. That's how everything looks from the bridge side. And now with that, we are all tuned up here on our new string. So let's go ahead and play that same riff uh, to see the difference of the sound that we have on these new strings. Now here it is with the sound sample with the current strings. Then we'll switch it up and do the other ones and give it the same sound sample. To me, it sounds a little bit brighter and uh, it actually feels a whole lot better. These Diodario are very smooth strings. Still has a very, very bright um, sound to it, just like the other ones did. But um, these is good. We're gonna keep it. It's set to where it's at. And uh, we'll go ahead and snip these tails off and consider this ukulele good to go. Well, there you go, guys. How to restring your ukulele by making those twists on the bridge look very sharp with the finished product. I hope these helped. If so, please go ahead and strum on that like button. And also come back to this channel, subscribe to it, so we can be back for another tip tutorial, ukulele play along, or maybe up high uke vlog, or anything else going on in the ukulele community, or here at Ukulele Project Hawaii. Thank you so much for watching. Aloha, mahalo, and God bless.